several months ago, actually, actually back in March, uh, after one of our videos, someone asked me, speaking favorably of the Hunt brothers, but talking down the silver squeezers, yet they are doing exactly the same thing. What's that all about? That's weird. Well, first off, it's not at all weird. Second thing is they're not doing the same thing. The Hunts were investing in silver in the expectation of prices rising. And because they were wealthy, they bought a lot of silver. And because they had bought a lot of silver, they felt free to talk to other people about how smart they were in buying silver with the expectation that some people would say, gee, those guys are smart. I'm going to buy silver too. And that might help the price rise. So they saw a wave coming that was going to push silver prices higher. And they said, let's ride that wave. And if we can make some comments and let other people make some comments about what we're doing, and that increases the height of the wave so much the better. They did not try to squeeze the market. They were trying to ride that wave and maybe make it a little bit taller. And they didn't collude. They didn't go on the internet, which actually didn't exist. It did exist back then uh, as part of a defense department program. Um, they didn't go out and say, hey, everybody should buy silver and squeeze this market and drive the price to $100 or $200 or $1,500. They said, we think the silver price is going to rise and we're buying silver. And if you bought silver, you could be a cowboy too. And that's what they did. Completely different from a bunch of people going on the internet and saying, hey, let's collude to squeeze the silver market based on an erroneous view of what's going on with the short positions on COMEX. And misinformation that we're consciously putting forward that the silver that the world is running out of silver 